Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Dragonfly Gaming UK, and this is a new game for me, or at least a new series for me. I've played Icarus um, quite a lot over the last year or so, probably the last two years I think it's been out. Um, really love it. I like the way the game's gone. I wasn't even keen on it at the beginning with all the missions and things. I much more prefer the sort of sandbox version as it is now. My only criticism of this game is that there's still no pause in it. Now I know there's a bit of a debate um, on Steam about this. I know because I raised the um, a question on Steam and it's had about 100, 200 uh, responses. And uh, some people think, why do you need to pause? You know, you can't pause real life. Yeah, this isn't real life. This is a game, and real life sometimes interferes, and you want to be able to just pause the game for a minute or so, and walk away without having to log out to the character screen. I'm waiting four or five minutes for the game to restart. So anyway, this is Icarus. This is a new character and we're gonna start a new game. Um, obviously I want an open world. Olympus is the original um, map that came with the game. Styx is the second environment they set up. It's a bit more difficult. Um, and then Prometheus uh, is a lot more difficult. Um, it's obviously a volcanic world. Uh, resources are a lot less. Um, trying to find what you need without getting killed is very difficult and as such they actually give you I think it's 20 levels at the start uh, where these ones you start on effectively zero. I think you can start on level 10 on sticks if you want but um, I prefer to start on zero. So I'm actually just going to go with the original landscape for now uh, if I make another series, I may do sticks and maybe some Prometheus. But for now, let's just stick with the numbers. Uh, create new open world. Just have done normal setting. Uh, dragon. Fly. Gamer. Okay. Claim prospect. Um, as you can see, I've got nothing really here I can assign to my characters. Uh, deliberately done that. Uh, I'm not going to bother with insurance. Confirm loadout. Now uh, you've got three options to pick from for starting positions. Uh, this was the original starting position. Uh, that's a bit more difficult. Uh, I'm going to start up in here. I quite like it up here. So I'm going to start up here. So I'm going to start up here. As you can see it's a comfortable environment. Plenty of food, oxygen, rocks, things like that for you to deal with. Uh, enough uh, materials, uh, minerals. So yeah. Pretty good place to start. And for this, I'm just going to go for a private lobby. And now we wait for the game to start. Finally, we enter. It all seems a bit quick this reaction, I understand why I've seen people waiting for ages for the game to start, but yeah, it all just it seems a bit quick. And here we go. First thing I'm going to get loads of bits and pieces and get some um, tools made, so I obviously need an axe and a pickaxe as quickly as possible. Bit of food there, give me. By the way, that took about four minutes to load. I'll cut all that out, obviously. I'll not make you sit through that. But I will have cut it out, so you shouldn't have had to sit through it. Got pumpkins in there, you've got to cut them. We'll take those. Right, let's quickly eat some food, just give a bonus. Crafting. Let's craft a axe, followed by a pickaxe. Oh, I need a bit more stone. That's one. Let's put some more stone in here somewhere. Don't need the flowers. And stone. Oh, no, to stick berries on them. Come on, where's the stones? Oh, I can hear a wolf in the distance. Alright, get that pickaxe made. 
And now it's just a case of pick stuff up and we can get up a level and start um, building more things. Sign some point to start building more things. Stop down some trees, that's a good way to get some experience. See where I am at the back in a moment. Let's see where be near some water. Okay, so we start here. Okay, some water here. Yep, that's not a bad place to begin. I know there's a cave, I believe, up here, and another one down here, and there's some um, deep mineral spots around here as well. So let's just. Get down to all the water water in here. Let's we'll see what those. Uh, oxide, we need that. Some ore. I'm sure this uh Deep mineral sites and might just round here. There we go, level up, that's what I wanted. Oh, there we go, what's that one? That is gold. Okay. Useful, but not I would prefer an iron. Although I don't need quite yet, I'm nowhere near being able to do that. So we've just leveled up, so I've got the tech tree, what do we want? So I think what we really need is let's have a look. What would I like to start with anyway? Torch because when it gets dark, you want to be able to see what you're doing. Um, campfire just so you've got some somewhere to cook food, and uh, then wooden buildings. So now you can just start to build the structure for protection. Uh, let's just see what I want to build. I think somewhere around here is quite useful. Let's go with that. Nope, let's pick it up. Oh, there we go. So step your stones, just get these on here. Where'd that bloody wolf go anyway? I heard it, but I can't have seen it. Next thing I need to do is be able to create a spear or something like that. So let's see, crafting. So you need foundations for your buildings. Uh, let's initially go with a 2 by 16 2 by 2 talent so this is a gain part of the upgrade because I've level up I've got a talent point um, there's obviously various things you can pick what I want to go for uh, so look we've got lumber yields that increases uh, lumber wood you get that increases the um, horsing by hand so that's the vegetation uh, and foods and things that's stone and that's increased how much weight you can carry uh, which is get more meat things from animals um, increasing base stamina so I'm going to increase base stamina at this point because stamina is always a killer okay that funny noise meant that my pole's ready so Let's see, one, two. So I want to go out into the water. Let's say a bit of a platform here of ground. So I think I'll start something like here. Uh, what sort of angles are that? Uh, here we go, here's a weather event. Here, yeah, showers, I should be okay. Nine, 
Let's save the rest of those. Actually, yeah, I just need a 9 for 4 by 4 I need 16 for... Sorry, 2 by 2 I need 16 for 3 by 3 Don't go 3 by 3 Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. But I'm going to have to go up this way. Yeah, I've got nothing to get them at the moment, so I'm going to really just need to get some protection from the elements. Trees can harm you if they fall on me, so you do have to be careful. I know I've got a blueprint point left, uh, I'm saving up for the moment. I'm just going to make a really small shelter to begin with and then expand. So it's actually going to be two by one initially. Get another two of those. Up to you. And I need some walls. And I need two, four, six. Got enough. There we go. Except for the base. One, two. Now the walls. Make this one a door. You do that by holding R, by the way, if anybody's interested. And a window there. And a window there. Now oh. uh, stick some logs across the roof. And you can see my exposure is now going down. It's sufficient to keep me safe from the elements for now. Um, obviously, with it raining, I can't put a fire outside. So hopefully the pattern of this storm will pass quite quickly. Um, you can see at the top right hand side there there's a um, cloud, that's kind of the end of the rain. That should probably be able to go out then. And then the sun is the weather's back to normal. Uh, we're still at 1136 in the morning. So there's some oxide over there, I need to go and grab some of that. You know, let's just go for it, it's not going to hurt me too much. Quite sure how far grows in the middle of a rock, but hey. This dumb has depleted. So I've got a bit of oxide, so what I can do is I'll get my inventory, drop that in there, and it will slowly top up my O2. I'll just finish mining this node. Go and then get a few more trees, get more wood. Okay, that's the stuff I'm doing. Oh, didn't want that. Really didn't want that. Deep water is your friend, I just can't really attack you when you're in deep water, but you can't attack them. Particularly useful with bears. Now I've killed that, but I can't really do anything with it at the moment, so... Tech tree, what I need is the skinning knife. Stone knife, there we go. 
And now if I craft that up. Oh, it's like my knife in position 5. Um, you don't need to worry about breathing under the water. Obviously you can like a, an environmental suit. Okay, so 5 and press F. Sorry, skinning F and press F. Take everything and then I want the bones as well. And yes, I'm at level 2 now and I've got some more points to spend. So what do we want? So we're going to need a bedroll. I also find quite useful lots of drying rack, but I don't know if I really want that at the moment. I do need some storage. Um, what else do I want? Don't go for oxidizer. This is a better way of using your oxide. It doesn't cost so much. Um, yeah, for now I think I'll go for the... Let's go for the oxidizer. Crafting. I don't think I've got enough parts for the oxidizer yet. All the bedrolls are the bedroll. I need 20 for. I should have gone for the storage. That's what I should have done. Fool, never mind. I can get level 3 fairly quickly. That is soya bean, I believe, so I don't really want that. I now want to get more tree and I want to increase my stamina again and solo everything at the minute is just stamina. Stamina is what restricts you from doing things. So when you're in multiplayer uh, you don't have a stamina um, tab, you've only got talents. So anyway, when you solo play, you have the solo talents, which are useful. They just help you to a single player. Good thing is, we've now got some food as well, so what I can't do, uh, just put a check on this. And I've got enough to make a stone fire. Yes, let's craft a fire quickly. I'll place that. Here, yeah, don't want it too close to the building because you can't burn your building down, which is quite frustrating. I've only done that several hundred times, probably. Well, not that many, but you know what I mean. I've done it quite a few times. So, wood in there, that tells you what fuels you can use. Wood probably is one of the better ones. Obviously, coal and coke are better again. Activate, drop the meat in there to transfer things from there to there. It's left con uh, control and left click. If you want to try it, transfer everything of the same type, it's shift, left control, left click. Obviously, I don't want wood in there. You can use a fire as a temporary storage, so I'm just going to drop some bits in here that I don't really need at the moment. That'll do for now. I don't need that. Don't need that. Actually, we need one slot free because it's going to generate charcoal. Okay, there we go. Now, what have I got? Have we got enough to build some more flooring? I need more wood. What am I short on? Wood. Later on, when you get additional talents, you can actually don't have to pick the wood up and just go straight at the end of the inventory. Okay, build another two of those. 
more wires. No, I need more fibre. I know I've got some fibre on the fire, but there's plenty of fibre around here. I can just collect it. Oh, too much of that. Yeah, my food's run out, so these give you a bonus. Bottom left, you can see you've got, you've got here, you've got stomach slots. Uh, I think you've got three to begin with. Uh, so you need three foods and they give you different bonuses. Um, if I go to the fire and get the meat I've just put on here, which I think is bacon, you can see that gives me plus 50 experience, plus 75 maximum stealth, plus 75 maximum stamina. Uh, I need some health jump up there, and uh, my stamina bar will be a bit longer. Bloody wolf again, I don't know where it is. I don't particularly want to encounter with a wolf when I've got at least a spear. Don't worry too much about the stumps, they take a lot to take out, they take a lot out of your tool for very little gain, but they just disappear after a time. They despawn. So this first day is just all about getting yourself some protection from the elements and trying to stay alive long enough to be able to get your uh, levels up to get some decent weapons. So there's our dropship by the way, that was over there, we're not far away from it. Oh, all the fittings. So what I can do is to deconstruct a wall, you press Y, that then goes back into inventory. As you can see on the bottom I've got five walls, where before I had four. Do it again, that's now six. Um, I need to put the flooring. Three. Let's make sure it's, press R to rotate an item. So make sure the floorings all face the same way. You know what, let's go for the... I can just create some more walls and flooring for the ceiling. Right, four to get these. Uh, window. No window. I want a window there. I don't want a window there. I don't have a bother about windows. Down this side. So I need four more floors to make the ceiling. And other floors to make ceiling as well. Um, how many can I make? Oh, seven. There we go. I'm going to fix them craft them quickly. Actually, you know what? I might just push this up as well. If you look, I've got a little red bar, the bar um, health is right down. It's not quite broken yet, you'll get a big red broken symbol when it does break. But to fix it, right click, and as long as you've got the material required to fix it, and you're using the right workbench for some of the later tools, you just click repair and it fixes it. There we go, now we've got a nice fixed axe again. Okay, roof, let me get the roof in before I forget. That way, that way, I want to not, it is now. There we go. And I'm just going to put this floor down here. Please don't tell me I'm the pig. Which way is that floor going? 
off the back. There we go. Let's save a bit of wood, deactivate that. As you can see, as it burns the wood, it turns into charcoal. There's some wheat here, this can be useful quite early on for getting experience points, but it takes up quite a bit of space in the inventory. So there tends to be a lot of it in one place. There's not here actually, I'm quite surprised. Um, now you tend to get big patches of wheat and uh, you can harvest it all. Normally give you quite a early game and give you quite a decent boost to experience. Later in the game you can uh, turn in a flower, then a dough, and make flatbread, which gives you a decent uh, bonus, decent boost. But that's quite a way off at the moment. Fiber, so now I've got fiber in this fire here. Let's just drag that back. How many walls do I need? Two and three ceilings. So two walls and three ceilings. So I'm going to have to take down this wall. Towards me, need the arrow pointing away. So to rotate, you tap R to change what the the structure. You press and hold R. That would be a window there. A window there. Just normal walls here, here, and here, and then the ceiling. Make sure we're pointing the right way. There we go. So we've now got a three by three building, and we can start laying things down um, without too many problems. Um, can I build a door? Yes, I can to build a door. You can build a window shutters as well. Um, they're not strictly necessary. Um, but. They can be useful. See a lot of creatures over there. That there's a nice pl uh, platform up there, which is quite good for building on later on. But it's quite a lot of animals, things like bears around there. So you have to be careful. Well, how close are we going to be quite close? So I just carry on collecting bits. Early game, if you have um, a lot of wood in your inventory, actually, I'm going to build a little bit of a platform for here. Just bear with me. Uh, build that. Uh, so I want to turn into a ramp, just so I can get in and out of the building a bit easier. I'd have to jump then. Um, yeah, so what I can say is if you've got a lot of wood or a lot of stone in your inventory, so I've got a hundred wood there, you know what you can do is you can build a wood pile or a stone pile. Now, the funny thing I find here is I've currently got 34.9 kilos in my inventory, and I've got 79, so they've taken a hundred wood out. Uh, my muscles have put a wood pile back, but my uh, weight's going to buy 40 kilograms. Strange. And I'm just going to dump that just in front of my door. It just offers a minor little bit of protection if you get a few pieces 
if you're being chased by something, it gives you a few seconds to get back inside your building. Your building will protect you completely. Animals can't destroy it. Um, if I go up to this, I don't show you at the moment. I don't need to repair how to show it. Um, we shall get in a bit. Um, the, uh, the creatures can damage it, but it's still better than nothing. Go level three. So just finish chopping this wood. Stones. Smokes my stomach's empty again, so it can see as things rot. You see the health bar. This green bar slowly goes down. Uh, once it decays, it turns into spoiled plants. So, the soya beans, I don't really need them, I'm just going to destroy them. Or turns into spoiled plants, they gain the spoiled plants, just destroy that, I don't need it. Um, I don't consume it, oh yeah. Uh, now I'll just take a melon as well, get the bonuses for it. Right, let's go to the safe side. Tech tree. So, what do I need? I now need to start arming myself. So I want the bow with some stone arrows. I want the repair hammer. And do I go for a spear? Oh, I've got the storage. I did get storage. Yeah, let's go for a spear. It's a wooden spear at this point, but we will upgrade it later. So, crafting. Let's create ourselves a bow. And some wooden arrows. What are we going to make? Let's make 15. And you can see you get points for these as well, crafting these. So, at least now we can defend ourselves a bit. And then a spear. I tend to craft two spears because they're not particularly strong at this point but at least now we have some protection and one talent point again I just want to get that uh, stamina up as high as possible okay so uh, that's been quite a good start, I think, so far. Um, what I'm going to do is leave it here for the first episode. Um, we've got ourselves a building. We've got ourselves some weapons. Um, yeah, yeah, it was a pretty good start. And it's still just the first day. We've not actually gotten to tonight yet. So, um, yeah, hope you guys are enjoying it. Uh, and I'll leave it there for now. This is Dragonfly Gamer, signing off.